Kai, this weekend, obviously your former club, but Anglo-Welsh Cup, it's, it's a big opportunity for a lot of guys, not, not just the young players, but you as senior guys, as you mentioned, you, you know, it's big games to play this second half of the season. Yeah, a huge game, I think. It's, um, you know, there's a, we've got a big squad here, um, really talented squad, and, and obviously the guys have been going well, but there's also a fair amount of guys who haven't played a huge amount of rugby recently, who, for different reasons, who've got an opportunity this weekend to kind of put down a bit of intent. You know, they, you know, everyone wants to be involved in the big games at the end of the season. So um, the key for us is um, sticking to what we do. You know, um, the opportunities come, you know, to scoring tries and, and looking good inevitably come from doing the right things, doing, taking care of the little actions in front of you and doing your role as best of your ability you can. Um, we get that right and we don't get carried away with the occasion and um, overawed a bit by it. And, um, Overcomplicating of what it is, I think I think we'll be in a good place come the end of the game. We saw last season how players can take that opportunity. Simo's a prime example of that, isn't he? He used this very competition to to thrust him onto bigger things. Yeah, exactly. You know, as I said earlier about the youngsters coming through, you know, they've they're not they're not that green. You know, they you know they've had a fair amount of ex experience um, through different clubs, through different age groups, through playing here, um, through at the championship club level. Um, so they've they've been selected. Because they're deemed good enough, and they are, you know. So um, there's a huge amount of talent coming through, and there'll be no doubt that there'll be more guys kicking on in the next two games that we play. You put in two really good performances, Northampton, and then up at the Scarlets to, to nil them. That was a huge result up there. Yeah, it was massive for us. I think, um, you know, we, we spoke about, a lot about the process of going down there. Um, you know, it can be a hostile environment, making sure we get. Our bread and butter right, getting a set piece right, and that was a big weapon for us down there. And I think um, we ticked a huge amount of boxes that day. Um, I think it's still a long way for us to go, but excitement levels are very high in the change room at the minute. As you say, Worcester, you don't know what you're going to come up against, but having played at the club, you know they're a proud club. You know they'll come at you, don't you? Like yeah, yeah, no, 100%. You know they've got a, a good squad. You know they're going to, they're very similar. They're, they're going to go after a bit. Um, they're on the home home patch, and you know you always want to look good in front of your fans. So we know it's going to be a challenge, um, but I think. It's really the onus is about us this weekend and making sure we just get, you know, because it's, it's a it's a collective group of guys who haven't played a huge amount of rugby together. Um, so inevitably you've got to try and get your basics right and your systems right and that will have a knock-on effect throughout the game. And finally, how, how important was last Sunday, the A game? You know, you got a lot of you playing together ahead of what is a big game. Really important, I think. And I think it was it was actually a good game to grind out. Um, showed a fair amount of character at the end there. And I think... Uh, I think that put us in really good stead, you know, the six-day turnaround. Um, but that sort of hits out um, will pay, pay dividends of the weekend, I think.